Hi, I'm Robert. I'm a threat analyst at Reversing Labs, and today I'm going to show you how to analyze a phishing email on our A1000 platform. During typical day-to-day -day work, we commonly use the advanced search feature of the A1000 platform. To hunt for potential email phishing attempts, we can use the email impersonation tag. We have some of these samples locally available. We'll focus on the first one. When we open the sample, we have a confirmation that this, in fact, really is an email. However, Titanium Cloud has classified this as being known. A brief description describes that this email is available in plain text and HTML content, so it's a mixed email message, and the contents are not signed nor encrypted. There are a couple of extracted files, mostly referring, in this case, to the email body. To get a brief understanding, of what the email is, to whom it's sent to, what the subject is, and so on, we click on the email portion in the Titanium Core metadata. We see that apparently this email is from Facebook. However, if we take a look at this email address it was sent from, we can clearly see that this is not a Facebook-owned domain. The subject of this email is new comment on Facebook. So this would probably spur some interest on the behalf of the person receiving this email. We can take a quick look at the indicators portion. We can see that our static analysis engine detects potentially deceptive links. Also, it says that the email sender tries to impersonate Facebook and the message contents contain multiple phrases related to sensitive topics. To see the most interesting strings in this sample, we go to the interesting strings portion. We can see a couple of domains, this one being allegedly Facebook. And in the HTTP portion, we can see some suspicious domain hosted on HTTP rather than HTTPS called Resume Facebook. This is definitely not a Facebook-owned domain, so we need to dig deeper. If we go to the extracted files portion of this email, we can see that there is a preamble, an extracted text portion, and an HTML file. Like previously stated, this email consists both of the text portion and an HTML document portion. We will open them both. The text portion in the preview says that the user has deactivated his Facebook account. The account can be reopened by logging into Facebook and so on and so on. However, this link seems to be legitimate. If we take a look at the HTML portion of this email, we can see the same message. You have deactivated your Facebook account. You can reopen it and so on and so on. However, in this case, the hyperlink clearly leads to something other than Facebook. This is a clear indicator that something fishy is going on, and this link should be carefully visited to analyze it further. However, we still have the problem of the sample file being known. This can be countered by setting a user classification on the A1000 appliance, clicking on the actions portion on the summary page, clicking on set classification, setting the threat status to malicious, and then selecting a proper threat name like phishing Facebook. Once the classification has been changed and we refresh the view, we can see that this is now classified as being phishing Facebook. This sums up the analysis of this phishing email. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon.